it's uh, George's Aquariums and um, today I'm actually going to be looking at an aquarium I just it's an aquascape that I just made recently uh, I used to have uh, a lot of um, fish in here but I decided to switch it around and now I've got some newts I've had these newts for ages they used to be in a crappy little biorb and it was just shocking so I thought I'd make a new aquascape I didn't film it but here's the end product of it as you can see I've got one fire belly newt which is this one just here and then I also have two Spanish rib newts, there's one here and the other one's hiding in the back somewhere um, over here I have a big pump uh, just because even though there's not that much water in it I like the, the wa I like to do as few water changes as possible uh, this is aqua soil at the bottom I'm not sure uh, which kind of brand but if you look at my previous video you'll see because um, I did show it in that, um, so it's quite late at night, so I'm stuttering in that. Uh, I kept with the same sort of aquascape as sort of like the cliff area, and um, what I've done is I've planted the plants in the back, the majority of them. In the back I have quite a few java ferns, um, I have three java ferns in fact. Two of them are planted in the soil, and this one over here has been uh, dug up by the newts, but it still seems to be flourishing fine. And um, as you can see, Java fern is a great plant because there's a turtle dock just here, which the newts like to go on occasionally. And uh, these plants are underneath the uh, dock, so they don't get much light, but yet they still they still seem to be bright green. They still seem to be growing well. I'm not using any carbon or um, additives to the water to make the plants grow better. Just under natural light, easy setup and they're growing really well. A pump is majorly important for getting the oxygen in the water so I'd definitely get a pump um, for a low cost setup as well. What I've done is I put a couple pebbles, pe pebbles, <laughs> bloody I can't speak pebbles in here and uh, I've got some fishing line and I've attached the uh, moss to it. Unfortunately as you can see when you have like newts in your aquariums sometimes they do like to dig around and that and they do loosen the um, the the fish line and the moss does come out as you can see over here so what I what I'd advise is um, I just tie it really tightly because clearly I didn't do that enough um, the, mo what I've, the moss here the underwater moss that's just from a uh, moss ball and I've just ripped it up into little pieces and it actually grows onto the rock which is quite good I've got it growing in the middle here and I don't know how good my ca uh, camera is it's not that great but it, just on this bit of java moss you can see that there's little bubbles not java moss, sorry moss ball moss see there there's little bubbles and those bubbles are a great sign because um, it actually shows that it's growing um, what else, also I have uh, I've put a couple other plants in one here I'm not sure of its name another one at the back I'm not sure it looks like a sort of like a pineapple tree um, so that's in the back. Th this one's growing incredibly well, even under not great light. And this one, I don't know, it sort of died off the first couple of days and sort of come back a bit now. It's growing a couple shoots here and there, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's not the greatest plant. Oh, in the back, you can just see the other Spanish rib newt. He's quite big compared to the other one. I've had these newts for a good seven years, and they've just been in this crappy tank. I thought now it's got to be the time to change it and if you're wondering where the other fish in there and another tank I've done quite a while ago it's also an aquascape but it's I haven't been maintaining it properly so it's a bit like grown out of hand to be honest um, what I do with a couple of my tanks is uh, in the background where the plants are you can't see straight through it's not actually all overgrown I've just got a little background there uh, in, it's sort of like a cut out of cardboard and it works really well, it just makes it look so much better I mean, if you're wondering why they're all out, the newts, I put some blood worm because that's what I feed them and I just wanted to get them on camera for you guys um, what else can I say uh, I'm going to be doing another uh, the biob that these newts used to be in I'm actually going to be making them into an aquascape and I'm going to be doing that for a couple other newts I have. One is an alpine newt and one is a fire belly newt, although they're very young at the moment. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Is they're just going to grow up there in their whole life. 
if you've got any suggestions, if you want me to film the whole setup that I did for the last aquascape I've done, and um, if you want me to update you, I can definitely do that. Just uh, drop a comment, tell me if you like the video, tell me if you want to do more of these videos, so I can make a whole channel out of it. Um, that's going to be the end of the video. If you want, you can check out my other channels, Curious George, which I haven't started on yet, but that will, videos will be going up on there and then George Cope which is actually my name don't stop me on Facebook that's not cool um, but that's my other channel go check it out a couple funny videos there um, thank you for watching I'll be making another aggregate video soon and um, I'll show you guys an update on this maybe in a couple of months or something alright bye